In this video, I will teach you how to create custom audience for your Facebook or Instagram ads. Custom audience are used for retargeting ads. There are some adverts that you might have seen on Facebook or Instagram. Possibly you clicked on those ads or you reacted on those ads. And because of that, this person has retargeted you and that ad has been following you anywhere you turn on Facebook or Instagram. That is retargeting ad. The person created a custom audience. And that's what I will show you how to create in this video and how to use that custom audience for your ad so that you can retarget those who saw your ad and maybe did not take action. They did not buy or they did not do what you asked them to do. You can retarget them because when they see it again, they will remember it and you will increase your conversion rate. So ensure you watch this video to the end while I show you the step by step of how to create this audience and how to use this audience for your ads. Open your Meta Ads Manager. Hover your mouse on this toolbar at the left hand side. You will see audiences right here. Click on audiences. You will see all the audiences that you have set in your ad account. Click on this create audience button to create your custom audience. Then you will see custom audience, lookalike audience, saved audience. For the purpose of this video, we are focusing on creating custom audience. So click on custom audience. You will see this pop up where you have to choose a custom audience source. Every custom audience is generated from a source and there are different sources here you have website as your own source this website is for those who have a website and you have run ads previously people have visited your website from Facebook or Instagram ads meta will be able to track those who have visited your website from your Facebook or Instagram ad so you can use this website as your custom audience source okay when you use this website you will be able to track all those who visited your website from Facebook ad and you'll be able to retarget them then we have another source here which is app activity if you have an app and you have been running ad from Facebook or Instagram directly to that app those who came through Facebook to your app you can retarget them that is what this particular source means so if you select this one you'll be able to retarget them through the app activity another one here is customer list for customer list these are people who have patronized you from Facebook ads and they have given you their details like their full name their email address and their phone number you can use that list upload it back into meta as dashboard and you can retarget those who bought from you another one we have here is catalog and offline activity let's quickly go to meta sources now if you don't have a website and you don't have customer list possibly you have been running facebook ads on your page or from your ad account there are other ways that you can use to create a custom audience that is through the meta sources the first one we have here is video so if you have been using video to run ad on your page you can use this particular source when you select video you will see this next button down here when you click on next you will see this creates a video engagement custom audience now you have to choose the engagement type there's a drop down button here before choosing your engagement type you need to select your audience retention this is for those who have watched that video for the past one year 365 days you can reduce it to maybe 90 days depending on when you publish that video that you want to retarget with okay then name your audience so i can call this uh video views custom audience then you can decide to give a description here or not now let's go back to the engagement type there's a drop down button here select this drop down button then you will see people who have viewed at least three seconds of your video i like using true play because this ones we understand better what my video is about so i will choose people who either completed or viewed at least 15 seconds of your video this is for true play i like this one so i will choose that then right here you will see select videos so when you click on select videos here you will see all the videos you have published on your facebook page so you can go ahead to select the particular video you want to use for instance if i select this particular particular video here then down below here you will see this confirm button click on confirm you see that the video has appeared here so everyone who has watched this video for at least 15 seconds i can retarget that person okay then below here you will see create audience button when you click on this create audience your custom audience will be created so after creating the custom audience you can go ahead to create your
your lookalike audience. If you want me to create a separate video on how to create a lookalike audience, then drop a comment below and I'll create a video on that. This particular video is mainly on custom audience. Okay. Now, this is the custom audience I just created here and is populating, right? Now, let's look at other sources that you can use to create your custom audience. I will also show you in this video how to use this custom audience that you have created to run your ad. These are the meta sources we have used video. The next one is lead form. So in case you created a lead generation ad and people have been filling the form from your ad, you can retarget those who fill that form. Maybe they did not buy the product you were selling. Now you can retarget them and they will see it the second time. Possibly this time they will buy your product. So all those who fill that form, you can retarget them. That is this particular source. We have Instagram account. So now you can retarget those who have ever visited your Instagram account, those who have ever reacted to your video, those who interacted with your video or those who interacted with your Instagram account. You use this one to retarget them. We have events for those who are organizing events. Those who watch your ad for that event, you can retarget them. Then we have Facebook page. You can retarget those who have ever responded, reacted or engaged with your Facebook page. So all these are here on Facebook listing. So all these, for instance, if let's say you want to retarget those who have ever engaged or reacted to your Facebook page, you can select Facebook page. Then you will see this next button here. Click on next. It will open up like this. You will select your Facebook page here. Click on this drop down button. Select the particular Facebook page you want to create a custom audience for. After that, you will see events. Everyone who engage with your page. If you don't want to choose that, click on this drop down button here. You can choose anyone who visited your page, but I prefer this one. Anyone who engage with your page because this is going to include people who have visited your page or taking an action on a post or ad such as reactions, share, comments, link clicks, or carousel swipes. This is the best I like to use because it will encompass every visitor to my page. Then I will select the time. The audience retention can be within one year. I think this is cool. Then the next thing is to give your audience a name. You will see this include more people and exclude people. If you want to exclude specific audience, then you can exclude. If you want to include more people, you can click on this include more people. But I just want only this particular set of people. So I will just give my audience a name. Under audience name, click on this space here. So I can call it page visitors as my audience name. After that, you will see this create audience button down below here. Click on create audience. And with that, your custom audience is created. If you want to create your lookalike audience, you can go ahead to create it right here. Now, let me show you how to use that custom audience you just created right now. This is your Meta Ads Manager dashboard. Go ahead and click on this create button. You know how you create your ad. Then let's select a particular objective. Let's assume that we are using an engagement objective select engagement here then you will see this continue button the normal way you run your ad i like using manual engagement campaign so i'll select manual and click on this continue button down below this is the normal way you set up your ad you set your campaign ad set and ad for the purpose of this video let me show you how to use the custom audience you just created as you know audience is at the ad set level so i'll click on ad sets you do all the settings you usually do let me take you to where you can use the custom audience you just created when you scroll down to audience here you will see controls then this is locations select locations for instance if you are selling the physical product and you are only selling to those in lagos then you can just select lagos nigeria here after selecting your location here then you will see age leave the age from this 18 to 65 okay then for gender depending on the type of product you're selling if it is unisex then leave it for male and female here the next thing you will see is custom audience now the custom audience you just created is populated and you can select that custom audience here there's an edit button right here click on this edit button and you will see this search bar click on search existing audience remember the name you use in saving your custom audience you can see all of them here will pop up remember the first one i created was video views custom audience the second one was page visitors so depending on the particular custom audience you want to use just select the custom audience for example if i'm using page visitors i'll just select the custom audience and your custom audience has appeared appeared here. So that is where you will find the custom audience you create. That's how you will use it to run your Facebook ad. You set up every other thing and you publish your ad. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and drop a comment below.